None of them not there for me level. I'm um, not even I know how I do it. I just do it like Jordan or you win or Shaquille or Kobe and no one can stop me. Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a full bang bun. It's really easy and really fun. The first thing that you're going to need is two scrunchies. One should be a heavy duty one and one should be a smaller one and a rubber band if you want. That's optional. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to separate the middle of your hair. Like however much hair that you want for um, your bang, depending on how full you want it to be or things like that. You want to get that hair separated and then you kind of want to even it out. You don't have to really stress about even it, it out perfectly because you're going to have to still even it out even more. But I think that it helps if you kind of make sure that the locks are kind of layered the way you want them to from now. So after you gather up the locks that you want, the next thing that you're going to do is just fold the locks up and then you're going to put your scrunchie on it. You can use a rubber band if you want. I wanted a scrunchie because it just kind of was more heavy duty. I felt like with the rubber band, sometimes if I pulled a little bit too much, then the whole bang can almost could almost unravel, and I didn't like that. So after you put your scrunchie on, you can even it out some, but again, I wouldn't really stress about it much because you're going to have to really do it later. And when you start to make your bun, it's also going to um, kind of get lifted up anyways, so don't stress it. After you do this part, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and put your hair into a ponytail. Now, I wanted my ponytail to be really high because there was a certain kind of look that I really wanted for this bun. The next thing that you're going to do is just take a little bit of hair, a couple of locks, and wrap it around that um, part that you just used to make for your bun, for your bang. Because what I've learned was that it kind of gives it your whole bun a more clean cut look and more of a bun look. Whereas when I tried to just wrap all of the hair around it, it was getting a little crazy. So the next thing that you want to do is wrap one side over and then kind of wrap the other one above it. But let me just let you guys know, like I've said in my previous videos, locks really kind of just do what they want. I had to play around a couple times to get the bun in the form that I wanted it to be. So if your locks do not end up in this bun form like mine, that's okay. Just play around with it. Have fun. You know, if you want to see some previous videos that I've had where I've, you know, used different methods to create a bun, you can check that out. Like I said, um, this was the best method for me. So after I created the bun, the next thing that I did was I always like to leave some hair out on the sides because I just feel like it really gives a bun a more clean cut look when you kind of have those locks wrapped around. I just love it so much. So what I did was I left some out on both sides. I always like to do this. I'm wrapping the first side over. Also, I wanted to cover that rubber band. And I did use a rubber band because I felt like the rubber band secured my locks a bit more. Whereas with scrunchies, even my heavy duty scrunchies seem to kind of like, um, they seem to kind of like leave my locks a little bit loose. And I really wanted this style to kind of stay together. So that is why I used a, a rubber band. But you don't have to use a rubber band. The next thing that you want to do is just take some time to tuck your locks in. Now, one thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that it's better to actually curve the tip of your locks before sticking them into your bun. For like the ones that are sticking out, even the shorter ones that are sticking out, just take that extra time to curve the tips instead of just sticking them in because I've learned that they actually stain the bun better. So after you've done that and you twist the other side over, I wanted this on um, like crisscross look with the gold string to be over the bun so that's why I did that if you like that you can do that as well but once you cross it over the last thing that you want to do is go ahead and even out your bang now if you want it to just be even all across then you can do that or you can kind of pull some on the side of it so that it fully has that full bang look and the last thing that I did was put a scarf on so that I can lay it down to have this style so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Let me rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real. Hold up. Love.